Hi friends, welcome to ROC Comply, a document generation application for professionals. In this video, I will show you an Excel application for generating Word documents relating to closure or strike off of company. The data in fields given in column B are fixed and cannot be changed. So we have to make the relevant entries in column C. In order to save time, I've already filled in the data in column C. Now let us verify what data I have filled. First name of the company, below that address of the company, below that corporate identification number of the company, below that email of the company, below that phone number of the company. Below that I have given directors details like names of the directors and their DIN number. Below that I have given board meeting details, date of board meeting, below that address of board meeting, below that board meeting time, below that name of the registrar of companies. Below that I have given the number of shareholders who are giving their consent for closure of the company, below that shareholding percentage of the shareholders who are giving the consent for closure of company. Once this data is filled in this Excel application, please verify the data. After the data is verified, click on this button to generate the Word documents. You see here Word documents have been generated. Now, once the documents are generated, you will get a dialog box like this with three options. Save, don't save, and cancel. I'll click on cancel. After clicking on cancel I will go to file and using save as option I will save this file on the desktop as brn letter to registrar of companies. So once the document is saved on the desktop I will close this word document. Now I'll minimize this excel application and I will go to word document which I have saved on the desktop. Letter to registrar of companies is prepared. Below that board resolution is also prepared. I will close this Word document and I will go back to Excel application. For generating affidavit and indemnity bond 1 will click here. The data given in row 1 to row 15 are fixed and cannot be changed. We have to make relevant entries from row 16. In order to save time I have already filled in the data. Let us verify what data I have filled in. First name of the company. Next column address of company, next column corporate identification number of the company, next column date of incorporation, next column director name, next column fathers name, next column address, next column DIN number, next column date of appointment, next column number of years since the company is inactive, next column reason for closure, next column name of the registrar of companies. Once this data is filled in this Excel application, Please verify the data. For generating the documents, I will give serial number 1 in row 5 and row 6 as the serial number for first director is 1. Now I will click on generate button to generate the documents. You see here word documents have been generated. Now, once the documents are generated, you will get a dialog box like this with three options. Save, don't save and cancel. I'll click on cancel. After clicking on cancel I will go to file and using save as option I will save this word document on the desktop as affidavit and indemnity bond. So once the document is saved on the desktop, I will close this word document. Now I'll minimize this Excel application and I will go to word document which I have saved on the desktop. Affidavit and indemnity bond for first the director is prepared. I will close this Word document. Now I will go back to Excel application. For generating affidavit and indemnity bond for the second director, I will give the serial number as 2 in row 5 and row 6 and click on generate button to generate the documents. You can see here the documents has been generated. Now, once the documents are generated, you will get a dialog box like this with three options. Save. Don't save and cancel. I'll click on cancel. After clicking on cancel I will go to file and using save as option I will save this document on the desktop as affidavit and indemnity bond 1. So once the document is saved on the desktop, I will close this word document. Now I'll minimize this excel application and I will go to word document which I have saved on the desktop. You can see here the affidavit and indemnity bond for second director is also prepared. I will close this word document and I will go back to the Excel application. 
I will click on back to index. For generating consent letters of shareholders I will click here. For generating shareholders consent letters the same steps have to be followed as explained for generating affidavit and indemnity bond. Affidavit and indemnity bond for 10 directors and shareholders consent for 50 shareholders can be generated from this application. In this way you can easily generate documents relating to closure or strike off of company from this Excel application. The word document can be customized at your end very easily. Thanks one and all for watching this video. In case you like this video please share with your friends and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos.